section. Hello, good morning, everybody. I'm so excited to see so many people joining. Um, so anyway, the reason I came on today is a totally impromptu training about personal branding because I went to Costco yesterday, all right? So where's the box? It probably doesn't matter, but let me get it. So I went to Costco yesterday and I saw these, it's super bright, Once Upon a Farm cold press smoothies. And typically I don't really love things that come in these pouches. I don't know why, it just, meh, I'm not into the pouches. Anyway, I saw them and I was like, oh, that looks cool. And then I looked at it a little bit longer and like, for some reason, something was resonating with me and I couldn't really put my finger on it, but I ended up buying them anyway. So then this morning I'm like, oh, I wanna try my new blah, blah, blah. And so I pull out the packet and I'm like, God, why does this look so familiar? And I just keep looking at it. And then on the back, there's a little tidbit like about the brand right here. And it says, I'm the daughter of an Oklahoma farm girl. My sisters and I grew up eating farm fresh food, blah, blah. So I get to like the third line and I'm like, oh my God, I think this is Jennifer Garner's business, her company. So this is where I tie it back to the whole personal branding. I started following Jennifer Garner on Instagram or Facebook or whatever a couple of months ago because I saw one random video she did, which was so cute, where she was literally like saying goodbyes and things to her sweatpants as she was packing for a trip. She was like kissing them, being like, you get to come. You don't get to come this time. And it just made me laugh. So I really liked her and her personality. So I started following her on Instagram. And then recently, probably like three weeks ago, I saw a video again of her, but it wasn't her Instagram. It was Once Upon a Farm's Instagram. It's her company. So her company produces high quality kids food, la 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 la. So I don't follow a lot of accounts on Instagram, but I started following Once Upon a Farm because I really like Jennifer Garner as a person. Sure, she's a celebrity, la 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 la, but I have fallen in love with her online personality and the content that she puts out, which doesn't promote movies, it doesn't promote products, it's just good content that I like watching. I learn a little bit about baking, I learn a little bit about gardening, I watch funny stints about her packing her sweatpants, but I follow her and I like her. I don't care about a once upon a farm company, but because she's tied to it and I like her and her messaging so very much, I started following her company. And so that planted a couple seeds in my brain, right? So when I saw this at the box at Costco, I didn't immediately go, oh, that's Jennifer Garner's company. Nah, nah, nah. Like if somebody's at an event and they see Posh, they're not gonna immediately go, oh, that's Posh, Jessica sells that, Jessica's my friend, I wanna buy Posh. They're not going to immediately make that connection, but if you're doing a good job of showing your face and being present, whether it's on social media or in your local community or wherever you work your business, when somebody happens to see your product somewhere, they might not con like immediately connect the dots, but some kind of synapse is gonna fire and they might actually buy it. And then they get home and they pull it out and they're like, oh my, oh my God, this is the stuff Jessica sells. And then I get so excited, I try it, I tag whoever, and that's how personal branding works. And this was just such a powerful story to me this morning because I literally just bought this because it looked good and it kind of like, like I said, some kind of synapse fired, but I didn't make the connection until this morning. And then I got on my phone, I was like, once upon a farm, oh my God, I do follow that account. I knew about this all along. So in conclusion, I didn't go out and seek this just because I like Jennifer Garner or just because I started following this company a couple of weeks ago. But I do like Jennifer Garner and I did start following this company a couple of weeks ago and I've been watching them, right? And then when I was out in public and I saw something and it, it jogged my memory, I made a purchase. And now I'll probably make a lot more purchases from this company because that connection has been made and I haven't even tried it yet, you guys, because I came to talk to you first because you're my priority. I'm sure I'm going to love it, but then I'll end up buying more. That's how all of our businesses work, right? Somebody might be watching you for a really long time and they just, for whatever reason, never pull the trigger. But then they're out in their real life and they happen to go to a party or they happen to see another friend of theirs with a hand cream and they're like, you use that, you use Posh? Um, here's a little bonus story. I don't want this to go too long. 
Um, oh, I love that. Antonia said she's known as the posh dealer of Belfair. I love that. Um, my orthodontist called me the other day. So the very first time I had my big orthodontist appointment, I brought, they had done the $5 hand creams. P.S. If Social Butterfly is still $5, this is a really good thing for you to do. They had done $5 hand creams and I had bought a ridiculous amount because when you factor in buy five, get the six free and perks and la 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 la, they're basically like $3 or $3.50 each and so super cheap. So I brought 12 hand creams to my orthodontist, 12 or 15. I brought a ton of hand creams and I just gave them to them and I was like, you know, blah, blah, I'm so excited to be a client here and I just wanted to gift you girls this, blah, blah, blah. So I look like, you know, the candy man. Well, the other day my orthodontist called and they're like, hey, Jessica. And I'm like, I don't have an appointment. Like what the, what, what the heck is going on? And they're like, remember those um, hand creams? Do you still have those? Yes. Well, we, we've run out and we'd like to buy two more. My orthodontist called me to place a hand cream order. And it's not because I gave them free hand creams. Well, yes, that is a contributing factor. But it's because every single time that I go there, I smile with the biggest smile and I offer them a, like a squirt of the newest scent or whatever. And I'm reinforcing that every single time they see me, they see posh, right? I'm not saying here, buy this, but I'm like, oh, are you guys enjoying your hand creams? Do you wanna smell this one? That's it. You're making sure you stay present in front of them that you are representing this brand, you are representing these products. And then they will make the connection. And it's really easy. Oh God, I'm going on such a tangent now. Have you guys missed me? <laughs> it's really easy for people to get d discouraged, for us to get discouraged in our business, right? Because we're selling our hand creams, la, 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 but we're not making a lot of um, sales. That's because it takes time, right? And it takes a lot of, hey, are you still loving your hand cream? It takes a lot of those to make connections with a lot of different people to build momentum. But like Antonia said, she's known as the dealer of Belfair. She's been doing Posh for like three years, right, Antonia? Maybe even three and a half years. She's had a lot of those, are you still enjoying your hand cream? Moments for people to really make that connection. And once they make the connection, just so we're clear, every single time I see Once Upon a Farm or even anything kind of like that, I'm gonna think, oh, that's Jennifer Garner. And I'm going to think lovingly about it because I've had a positive experience. And that's the same exact situation for you guys in your businesses, for us in our businesses, right? So I don't wanna um, stay on here too long because I'm hoping that some people watch the playback because I'm really excited about the complete parallel in our business to my, to my smoothie. And yay for me for having breakfast this morning. I'm not very good at it. Anyway, I hope you guys have a fabulous day. If there's anything I can help you with in your business, let me know. If you liked this little, you know, tidbit, tag a friend down in the comments or tell me what your biggest takeaway down in the comments or tell me this was helpful because if like little stories like this are helpful to you guys, I should try to pop on here a little bit more. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.